Hey guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme Cheater God. Now, I just started reading Chainsaw Man and I'm about 90 chapters in. I'm almost caught up to the current uh, chapters. I just started reading it like yesterday, but I've been flying through this. I've been flying, flying, flying through it. And well, what can I say about it? I want to talk about Makima today, uh, mainly because I feel like I I saw it coming pretty, pretty early, weird enough. Uh... I wasn't really surprised by the quote unquote twist, but it was a nice twist regardless, right? I don't think you necessarily have to be surprised by a twist for it to be a good twist. Um, but, you know, when when Makima first gets shot in the, excuse me, actually the first red flag was just her initial, just her complete initial introduction and saying that be my dog and woof and da 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 da. There was just like a controllingness to it. And it just it just felt weird. It felt like, wait, what? Why she? You know, other people treated Denji much better than she did. You know what I'm saying? Aki treated Denji much better than she did. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, so obviously spoilers a lot if you haven't fucking caught up to the to the to the manga, uh, whatever. So if you if you anime only, escape this video. But you know, Makima like just being how she is, uh, I was really like wait what there's something off about her you know uh i did think i did think that she was actually in a love a love interest and shit uh, I, I really did and then kind of the more the more i kept reading something just didn't seem right something didn't sit right with me you know what i'm saying everybody seemed to be in, in love with her and afraid of her like i was like why is everyone so afraid of this girl like you know and then obviously i think the nail in the coffin for me personally was definitely when uh they were on the train and the train got shot up and everybody got shot up and then she got up and just she was fine you know what i'm saying and then it was like later when we discovered that those 26 attempt or 28 dead she had like 20 something deaths and she kept coming back and she wanted Denji. She wanted Denji because she was looking for the Chainsaw Man. And she wanted the actual Chainsaw Man. Not Denji. She didn't care about Denji. She just wanted the Chainsaw the Devil. And the Chainsaw Devil kept revving. No matter how many times it died. As long as you rev its engine, it's back alive. And it could kill. It, it could erase. It could erase uh, devils. It could erase devils from existence by eating them. Because um, every devil, if you kill it. It just either comes to earth, and then if you kill it on earth, it goes back to hell, and it does a cycle. But not this motherfucker. This motherfucker was erasing everything. And so it's like, wait, what? And it turns out that the, the concept, you know, that obviously Makima is control, uh, fear of control. And I, I view it in two ways, I was going to say, actually. I view fear of, of control in two ways, right? So I think it's a double front fear, and that's, I think that's why one of the reasons Makima is so powerful. Um... And obviously, it being control itself, I think it may, you know it just gives it the extra extra sauce. But I think Makima being control, what I think makes it interesting is the fact that he he you know she <laughs> I think fear sorry fear itself I, I'm I'm so fucking I'm babbling right now. But fear itself I think is is a two way thing because you can fear right uh, control itself. You can fear you being in control right? And you can fear being controlled. And I think that's that's the interesting thing about it. You can fear being controlled and you can fear being in control. Some people don't want to be in control. They'd rather be told what to do. They don't want to be the boss. They don't want to be the leader. They don't want to be in charge. They don't want to follow their own destiny. They want other people to give them their goal and give them their ambition because they're afraid of failure and they're afraid of whatever. But I think that's also afraid and a fear of control itself. Uh, and then on the other hand, of course, is fear of being controlled. A lot of people are afraid to be controlled and, and be used and be manipulated and be abused and da-da-da-da-da-da. And that's fear of control as well. So um, I think that's kind of what gives her the double edge because she almost steals from other fears. Um, and I think that's like, you know, fear of, of, of failure, I think, can be seen as fear, a fear of control by some degree, by some degree. And I just, that's me being maybe a little bit... Uh, you know, some people are like, are you reaching, man? You reaching? I might be reaching a little bit, but that's that's me maybe taking it at a concept level, um, rather than just a, a pure raw form that it may be. Uh, but I think the interesting thing about Makima is just how she utilizes her control and how she just manipulates everybody around her, and 
you know, the interesting thing as well was the the strongest, you know, when the strongest uh, 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 devil hunter was like, I don't mind you doing all these crazy things as long as you're on your humanity side and you do it for humanity's sake. And then, you know, you'd see as well throughout that he's like, I think I kill her one day. And there's a few people saying that. And I'm like, huh? And then there's people like Aki and Denji willing to die for her and protect her and yada, yada, yada. And then obviously Aki's future being that he would die a gruesome death and that the future wanted to see it happen. And I was like, why does the future want to see that shit happen? Um, through his eyes directly, like, I'll oh, give you the powers if you see it. And then I also wonder why the future didn't show him the future of Makima controlling him. Or maybe did, and he just couldn't stop it. But interesting. I just found Makima such an intriguing and evil and devilish character. Uh, but yeah, anyways, it's a short video, but I just wanted to briefly talk about Makima uh, and how she's a manipulative bitch. <laughs> but I'm glad she's, she's dead, I suppose, in a way. Um, but I'm, I am and I'm not. I know that she's back, obviously, as a concept, but I really like Makima's character and how crazy she was. I feel like the pacing leading to her death was a bit much you know what i'm saying I, I didn't like the pacing of the story uh during just before she died and after it not not necessarily after it but just leading up to her death i thought that the pacing there was was weak um but the interesting thing as well find that chainsaw man had many fans in hell uh many supporters and many people that that, that were willing to obviously many feared him but many also wanted to you know what i'm saying to follow him and his lead and, and and how how he was and his actions and shit like that. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I suppose we're devil. So it makes sense that they love somebody that actually creates fear even amongst themselves. Um, so that's the kind of beauty of it, um, of Makima, the character, I suppose, in a way that she was obsessed and idolized Chainsaw Man, but not Denji. She didn't like Denji. Denji to him, her was just a dog and a, a means to an end. To utilize him in order to bring out the real chainsaw man. The real devil. And that real devil just wanted a hug. All this time. Uh, a little lame I suppose. But <laughs> it is what it is. Anyways. This this video is, is probably a bit wild. And a bit all over the place. But I just wanted to. I don't know. Sometimes you just want to talk shit bro. I don't know. It's kind of like a mini podcast to me I suppose. Uh, but yeah. Anyways. Been your boy Supreme Chief the God. What do you think of chainsaw man? I like it. But I don't. I don't quite love it to the level that I. I really loved it at the start, but I think when certain things started happening, which I'll do a video on eventually, I I wasn't necessarily disappointed, but some of the explanation for things weren't as compelling as I would have liked them to be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think Denji's story, it's unique in a way that it's meaningless in a way, but I just, I'm not compelled by his motivation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I I was I'm compelled by Aki's motivation. I think it's it's fine that not every protagonist should have some compelling ass fucking reason for doing what they do. I think it's a cool idea, but I don't know about about the execution one hundred percent. But I do like Denji himself. Uh, but I'm not too sure about his 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 motivation. Aki was my favorite character. Uh, R.I.P. Um, his death was. I don't know. I don't want to say it wasn't his. Because he died before he fought Denji, to be honest. Because once she was under, he was under control's control, he was dead. Uh, so, I don't know. His death was interesting. Um, but Makima, I think Makima was the most interesting character. Uh, but again, I think her motivation, I think, was disappointing. Uh, again, she's supposed to be just a devil, so it, it makes sense. Uh, but simultaneously, it was a bit disappointing. Oh, I did forget one thing that actually gave it away as well. Is when Makima did her, her used her powers and nothing showed up, right? So for now, to be fair, the future, the, the future devil doesn't show up either. But Makima not, was, was doing something physical and nothing showed up. When it wasn't a ghost devil, it wasn't whatever. She was just doing shit. And nothing showed up. And basically what she does is... I think she contracted... And we don't even know what devil she contracted. Or she contracted any. But she uses your body or somebody else's body. And then... Gives her all to whatever devil. Using that body. And then uses that action. To do whatever she wants. I don't know if that made any fucking sense. But that's 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 basically what happens. Anyway. Uh, I'm daddling on. 
that's Makima, my idea of Makima, my thoughts on Makima. What do you guys think? Comment down below your thoughts and, and Chainsaw Man and stuff like that. I did like Chainsaw Man. I, I mean, I'm still reading it. Uh, I'm not as interested in part two of it since the main cast is dead. I have to get used to the new cast. And that's kind of the thing I get when, like, everybody dies. Every every main cast dies at the same time. Um, It's hard for me to keep interest because all my favorite characters just died at the same time. And I'm a character person. When I read a story, I care. Sometimes I care about the story, but mainly I care about the characters. And I want to see those story, the character story. Like, I wanted to see how Aki's story would end. I wanted to see how Makima's story would end. And I wanted to see how Power's story would end. And I did. I saw all of those stories end. So I'm not that interested in Dentia's story because, again, he doesn't have, like, a real goal and a real motivation like everybody else did. And that's the kind of disappointing thing about everybody dying. Uh, I think if the story ended there, I'd rate it higher than I'm currently rating it. But I'll, I will continue reading it slowly. I'm, I'm just not as invested right now, but I definitely will carry it on and try to do more videos on it. And I will talk about the gun. The, maybe I'll talk about the gun devil at some point. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I don't have that many ideas to talk about Chainsaw Man because I don't feel... That many characters are that interesting. I think Aki. Um, I like Power, but I don't think again she doesn't really do too much. Um, you know, so I don't really like. I don't know. She cool, but is she that in depth? You know what I'm saying? She's interesting, but is she that in depth? Um, and I think that's maybe my thing with it. But I think Makima, Aki, and yeah. You know, I don't know. I, that's just me. That's just my thoughts on it. Uh, I, I didn't want this video to be that this negative, to be honest. But I do like Chainsaw Man. I want to watch the anime uh, because I want to see the adaptation of it on screen. Uh, it's a, it's definitely, it's kind of like reminds me of Doho, 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 you know, Doho, 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 Yeah, Doho, Hedoro on Netflix. Really weird, really interesting. I enjoy it. But do I care about everybody that much? Maybe not. But I did care about Aki and him. But, I, you know, right now, currently in the story, I don't really care about anybody. Um, the new girl is whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think it's an interesting scenario. Uh, but, you know, I think if they kept even Power alive or one of these characters alive that I'm also attached to, I think I'd, I'd be more ready to continue reading it. But me, th I think that's more of a me problem than the story problem, to be honest. Uh but I really thought the ending would have been perfect there with him killing Makima and that being it. Um, but yeah, it, the story continues. So let's see where it will lead us. Uh, but anyway, it's been your boy Supreme Cheer to God. Make sure you live, like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, oh I suppose dislike um, because <laughs> I wasn't super positive this video. But let me know, Chainsaw Man fans. Uh, I'm just new. I only started reading it yesterday. So uh, I'm out. <laughs>